Political meritocracy has been completed. So let's go and grab proportional representation. By instituting, by instituting a proportional voting system, we can ensure the elections are fairer and that candidates and parties receive the proper amount of votes. We cannot allow the views of the Bulgarian people to go unnoticed. Slowly but surely increasing the authority and Democrat levels. Did Turkey join the Internationale? No. They're still separate. Poland wants to send me... Ooh, actually quite a lot of stuff. Awesome. I accept. Oh, you know what? You guys... Could theoretically... Start a new unit for them. I won't do it. You lot, cancel your current orders. I'm going to send you over to the uh, the Italian front. We're going to go through the mountains here. That is what you guys have been trained for, after all. You do still have red telephones. Is anyone else ready for a promotion yet? No. How come you've lost your ability to pick? Oh, they're back again. Nope, I don't understand. You don't have any more. Neither do you. Partisan attacks in Adrianople. That's unfortunate. Wait, you've, you've just left a bunch of enemies there? Why? Go and deal with that, please. Oh, it's because they're on the islands. Yeah, and I'm, I am going to be suffering resistance as well behind my lines, which is annoying. It's not like game-breaking, but it's annoying. France is dead. I still haven't got the cutoff here, unfortunately, but yeah, France... France is looking bad. So apparently the Italians did do enough damage against them to cause them problems. Jets use chromium in real life. That's why German WW2 jets, jet engines had such a That's why German World War II jet engines had such a short lifetime before having to be totally reworked. They did not have access to chromium and had to use lower quality steel in their fan blades. This led them to breaking easily and thus had many accidents. Ah. Actually, if syndicalist Spain wins and join, they will stale the conflict. That war's been going on for too long, so I doubt it. Yeah, remark. Cool. Uh, because they are going to be out of manpower. They're already on service by requirement. Yeah, I don't see the CNT rolling this one around. They've been they've been fighting that civil war for far too long. And that means that they basically just have no resources left. Right, meanwhile, how are you guys looking? I mean, we're winning all of the defensive battles, which is the important thing. We could be trying to push. Now, we're going to we're going to wait until we have other things. Iran's cut off it. Ooh, they have. Iran's is proving to be quite a powerhouse. I was expecting this war between these two to rage for donkey's years. They've even got all the way to Suez. Wow. Unexpected. I will grant you that. Right, go and take random islands. You lot, go and take this. Turkey is pretty much gone. Still 10 to 1 for us, which is great. And there it is. And yes, I know allies joined, but that's only because I pressed the wrong button. Honestly, I'm going to steal all of this for myself. And then I'm just going to give it right back to the Ottomans. And hopefully the Ottoman Empire forms. 
If they don't, I'll be upset. Okay, so I'm going to wait until the um, event pops up saying, hey, do you want to form the Ottoman Empire? At which point I'll go, yes, yes, oh my goodness, yes. Right, this is a lot of... Uh, now nah, we're going to come flooding in. This is going to be stretching my supply lines really, really thin. But my commanders are really good at low supply. Like, we have all of my guys like commandos. So we should be okay. Vader Cyprus. Um... Liberate them. Conquest of Anatolia. We have destroyed the last remnants of the Turkish state and finally put the sick man of Europe in his grave. Our troops patrol the streets of Ankara in the ancient city of Constantinople. However, we cannot remain as occupiers forever. A decision will have to be made in regards to the future government of the Turkish people. Turkish Republic. Uh, partition them between the Kurds and the Turks. Or restore the Ottoman Sultan to his throne. Ottoman Sultan. You're welcome. You save me, I save you. You know, that's how it works. Uh, okay. Although we kept... <laughs> we kept the good bit, though. Zari Grad is still ours. <laughs> I guess we are now the Bulgarium Empire? Yeah, that, that's going to be our official title. We're the uh, Bulgarian Empire. Or the Bulgarian Empire, I guess it would really be. Uh, 1940, those are th uh, 41s. These are 40s. Uh, we could get mechanized, which makes the motorized stronger. Irrelevant. Artillery. We want this, then we want the rocket artillery. I'm going to start adding those to our units. Perfect. My Egypt game, the PSA took all of the USA leaving the AUS and the CSA attempting to do naval landings on each other. Oh dear. German jet fires were actually really effective. They just came too late in order to order uh, to turn things around. All right, cool. This war is still... Wait, have you... No, you're in the process of losing Madrid. I mean, fair play to you, Kingdom of Spain. I thought you were demolished years ago. Finally! It seems as though we have rightfully taken the land that is ours. Constantinople. Which was once in the hand of the perfidious Turks. It is now in our hands. We have managed to avenge the fall of Constantinople, which occurred in 1453, nearly 500 years ago, and have placed the city in Orthodox hands. The Hagia Sophia and the Ecumenical Patriarch will now be safe in Christian hands. Cool. And yeah, all of my troops are heading over to the new front. So yeah, it really does look like France is just going to wither. We'll still need to deal with Britain. And in fact, that's a point. We should start researching better naval technology because we're going to be in a very good position to do... Oh, please tell me I have really, really terrible... I have no naval... <laughs> We have no naval bonuses whatsoever. This does not surprise me. Not because Bulgaria shouldn't have them, but because... Uh, yeah, I've moaned about it enough. Although that's not a land tech, so I'm, I'm less upset about that. We're still really short on artillery. Despite the fact that we're producing tons of artillery... Oh no, we're low on tungsten. Only just can hardly complain about that. I think we're going to go up to 20 factories after this.
Dem Democles Project. German spies have recently revealed a mysterious and in some ways horrifying project taken up by the French and the British. They're going for nukes. Enact universal suffrage. The disenfranchised within Bulgaria must be given the right to vote. It is wrong of us to champion ourselves as a pro progressive party if we do not grant each and every citizen equal rights. Women, just like men, should be allowed to vote for the party of their choosing and have their views represented. Greater Flanders incoming. <laughs> Good grief, yeah. Flandaro Normandy? Norman Flanders? Fun fact, the ecumenical patriarch and the Bulgarian patriarch are always very angry with each other. Huh. Um. Why are we walking exactly? Take the frickin' train! Also, oh no, wait, that's you guys. Hey, you guys are fine. Although, I have a cunning plan. We are going to position ourselves there. We're going to do a spearhead down here. All right, reposition. Get ready for that attack. It will be glorious. Yeah, I definitely need to get just more artillery out. And you know what? I'm going to grab you two and I'm going to sign you to them now. I mean, we should have pretty effective air superiority here. So we'll be totally fine. Uh, yeah, we're going to position all of our men over here. You guys can be doing that. Yeah, that's fine. All of you have been promoted. Glorious. Alliance offer from Albania. News has come in from the Albanian delegation. Apparently, they seek to form an alliance with us. While we had assisted them against the Serbian menace during the Welsh Creek, working side by side with Albanian guerrillas, they still continue to claim a portion of Macedonia as theirs due to the number of Albanians living in the area. Though the fact remains that we are not seen in a positive light by most nations of the Balkans, and any aid in our favour could prove to be a small choice down the line. What say we? Sure. I mean, we are now the clear hegemon of... Uh, the Balkans, so I'm, I'm pretty happy to accept these overtures. Alright, two of my mountaineers are arriving. So my plan here is to basically cut through between the two rivers here and cut all of this lot off. Also, my navy can now afford to be a lot more aggressive. So we're going to search and destroy. Oh, wow. We apparently control all of the oceans. We're going to search and destroy in those three. Where are you based from? Oh, you're based in Athens. Yeah, that's a good that's a good base. That's fine. Wait, you're the Why are you the Turkish state? You should be the Ottomans. Why are you pop what? I reformed the Ottomans, I did not form the Turkish state. I wonder if that's because they lost Constantinople there. They basically went like uber revanchist. Uh, I tried. I tried. Oh, we're actually taking really heavy losses. Oh, this includes the Entente in Germany? Okay. Offer of guarantee independence was accepted. Oh, it wasn't even a full alliance. No, the event that collapses, the Ottomans can fire several times. They would all die. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I tried. I tried. Okay, now my guys are starting to filter in. So I'm going to say, as and when you arrive here, go ahead and enact that. Meanwhile, your guys are just basically going to be fortification stance. We are suffering a little bit of mountain attrition, but that's it. It's not too bad. 
They have disaster level stability. They collapse into another state. The new Turkey is also independent now. Can't see how much political power they have, so I cannot comment. Yeah, they are independent. Recon Company 2. Good. Get me engineer companies. Did I... Yes, I did add recon to you. Okay, we're good. Did I add them? I did not add them to you, though. That's not actually going to hurt much. Do it. Support equipment, we did lose a bit, but it's fine. The problem is the artillery. We are still losing artillery. Well, we're now... Oh. Okay, now we're getting... A little bit of supply attrition. Ooh, Egypt's just gone. Oh, good grief, Iran. I have a feeling that this is an emerging regional power. Just, just a gut feeling. And also... You've lost Madrid. Iran took 44 states. Saudi Arabia, Tripolitania, and Egypt were all annexed. Wow. And I don't have... Turkey is not in an alliance with us, so they are open to Iranian invasion. Who is rul ruling the Union of Britain? Mosley. Oh, this is lagging. Slightly. Have they just released everything? They've just released everything. Who's that? Mashriq. Wait, they're Social Democrats? Huh. Interesting. I don't think I've seen any Social Democrat nations. Alright. Let's go and uh, push this offensive, shall we? This looks like it's going to be something of a struggle. Direct rule from Tehran. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff there. Uh, Bohemia? No, that's Flanders, isn't it? Flanders, it is. It's Bohemia's. Oh, it's completely different. Of course, the Flemish Lion. Austria is not my overlord. Oh, they are. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> well, that's a good thing then. How can Flanders form? They fought a civil war against Flanders Wallonia and won. So they, uh, there was an uprising. Things happened. Although I think they are still um, Middle Europa. Ooh. Oh, I need privatization. Oh, this is just trading stuff. I thought this was like an uh, alliance with Russia, but it's not. Malinov and the Liberals are known for their ad admiration of the Russian Republic, placing trust in them rather than the Germans. If Bulgaria is to find a nation to protect its sovereignty, especially during these turbulent times, it's clear that Russia is the best nation to forge ties with. Well, no, Austria was. But it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Flanders has a huge inventory. Yeah, Flanders has a good focus tree too. It's interesting. Okay, I feel like we are just taking massive amounts of damage here. Yep, the supply situation is definitely worsening. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to withdraw these guys. No, we're not going to do that. We'll just have you garrisoning, like, back here, just in case you need it. We can then pull you forwards. I just don't want you dealing with, uh, causing all the supply issues here. These guys can continue attacking. I mean, that is kind of what they're for. And removing my... Uh, science. In fact, let me give you a different colour. Science is usually my training regiment. 
We're going to make you... Not cyan. Turquoise. Uh, we're going to make you... Yellow. Yeah. In fact, weren't you guys white? You guys were white, because you're my alpine troops. We're going to make you white. And we're going to make you purple. There we go. Will I play in Italy now? Well, maybe. It's certainly proven to be stable enough, but the performance is still leaving quite a lot to be desired. Like, speed 5 and this is how fast it's going. This is like speed 3 speed. It's kinda slow. Why am I playing as the godless syndicalists? I'm not. I'm playing as the guy is killing the godless syndicalists right now. Are we still having... See, this is one thing I don't like, is why are mountaineers taking huge amounts of mountain attrition? That doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, granted, they're not all mountaineers, but still a pretty significant chunk, considering the way that you are now limited in what uh, brigades you can train. And even when they were only mountaineers, actually, they were still getting mountaineer attrition. Oh, mountain attrition. <laughs> mountaineer attrition. Oh, I'm out of guns. How's my construction coming? Alright, we're working on the last of the civilian factories, and then we're going to be working on the military. We're building as many as we can. Our economy is just not that strong. Alright, if we're just losing a little bit attrition, then I'm okay with that. Supply is going to be a problem, but that's just because there are so many men here. This is like horrible, horrible terrain. France is definitely collapsing. Playing as Bulgaria, did they get a new tree? They got, yes, they did. Not that impressed by it, though. If I'm being very honest. Like, it's a nice tree, there's a lot of nice detail to it, but the detail that it kind of alludes to is not really represented in-game. Haven't had a chance to play the new update yet, what country should you play first? Uh, what, Gary? Uh, no. Would I say? No. I would say any of the Italians. I mean, they're the ones that have been changed the most. Or well, the Middle East. Actually, you know what? Iran has a pretty interesting uh, focus tree. So possibly Iran. I might try them next. Like, I, I still want to play as my beloved Sardinia. At some point I will, but I might wait until it's a little bit quicker. Well, it's doable, though. We'll see. Build me rockets. I need more exploding things. More explosions all the time. How are we doing? Still, I hate that mountain thing. You're going to hear me complaining about that more than once, by the way. Yeah, you guys are just, like, throwing men at that way now. Increase tires with Russia. Bulgarian-Russian trade deal. In order to gain access to preferred trade and possess a trade partner in times of need, it is crucial that we turn to the Russians, our closest allies, and work with an acting a trade deal with them. But they're not my closest allies. Australia are. Australasia is fun too. Yes, Australasia did get a tree. And yes, that is a nation I need to try one of these days. I mean, it's still no Caribbean Federation. You still don't have the absolute glory of working with that just phenomenal hat. I mean, how can you not like this hat? It is impossible not to like this hat. Oh, speaking of the car <laughs> Speaking of these chaps, they want to give me some free stuff. See, they they heard my... Uh, my uh, appraisal and positive attitudes towards the hat. They were like, hey, would you like some guns? We approve of your words uh, towards that. 
Russia's, Russia says no. Unfortunately, it seems as though the Russians have decided to decline furthering ties between our nations. They've cited the turbulent atmosphere out alongside concerns of the Balkans as a reason. Well, we know what these are, of course, blatant lies. It seems as though there is nothing we can do. Well, you know what that means. Tell me in chat if you if you can guess what that's going to mean. Uh, also, does that now block the rest of the focus? No, it didn't block it. You can get Prince George as the Governor General of Australasia. You mean King George? Oh no, it would be Prince. Yeah, of course. Because uh, Edward's in charge of Canada. I was thinking George was. No, it's Edward. So yeah, okay, that's cool. You like my hat? Take all of our guns, please! France has stopped there. Lend lease. Actually, I've lost most of my motorized. No, I didn't lose my most, most of my motorized. The uh, reduction of motorized is because we started to... Uh, we, we added field hospitals to our frontline troops. And there were a lot of them. So that's fine. And they're only being used as ambulances right now. Right, we are taking more and more attrition here. I'm not approving of this. They're actually doing a pretty good job of holding. <laughs> Although, that said, because we're containing so many of their troops up here, I think that's why the naval invasions are working. I mean, France has basically taken the whole of Sicily already. I was just thinking, maybe I should launch a naval invasion of my own. I mean, I have a fair number of... Com I don't have any naval invasion tax. Never mind. Muscat has joined Liberia as our ally in the Liberian-British War. Uh, okay. Oh, British War is again... As in the against the Union of Britain, not against these chaps. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking, why have you just declared war on the Entente? Uh, no. Fall of Paris. It's happened. Coming to France is definitely going down. Wait, am I only at war with... I'm not at war with the other two. Yes, I am. Oh, is that just saying who the war leader is? I thought that meant who I was actually at war with. That's a bit weird. Also, what are the losses like? They've lost... Well, we've lost 2.2 million, they've lost 1.5. I've got to hand it out to them, actually. Like, ever since that initial smashing, they've actually done a fairly good job of holding us. Mega Flanders strikes again. We no longer get the effects of freedom of the press. That's probably fine. I mean, my popularity has gone down from 50% to 44. Ever since allowing people to, you know, vote. But all of the communists are getting less and less. Interesting. I'm not getting many artillery from my Len leases. Guys, make me more big guns. Little guns are good, but big big guns are better. Italy will fall when France falls. Uh, that depends on whether they are a major power. They are a major power, so they won't. Oh, except for the troops are mostly French. Uh, that's possible. Freedom of the press was a debuff. It's reducing your PP gain. Right. There was the other one, which was the... One that was improving popularity. 